Welcome back, fellow explorers. I'm thrilled to have you join me for the third installment of Project Solara, our journey through the wonders of speculative evolution inspired by the incredible work of Project Mirror. In our last episode, we witnessed the emergence of life in Verdantara's oceans. Today, we venture into the open ocean, where new and extraordinary creatures have evolved to specialize in this vast, blue expanse. Meet the Chromocirclids, descendants of the Chromo fighter. These large, disc like organisms, tinted in mesmerizing blue hues, now dominate the open ocean, forming the base of the food chain through photosynthesis. Their sprawling presence creates a dynamic ecosystem that supports a variety of marine life. With this new food source comes opportunity. The Stellafarids have evolved from the Stella Calamaris lineage, internalizing their ancestors' shell. These flexible and maneuverable creatures use their beaks to tear off chunks of chromocirclids, congregating in groups for simultaneous gamete release during the spawning season. Living in the open ocean, and with their internalized shell, they will grow much larger than their ancestors, growing up to 50 centimeters in length. With their increased size, they will live to be up to one year old. In the open ocean the Aqualithrax reigns supreme. Descendants of the Quadropteran, they have adapted their beaks into small, stiff baleen-like structures to filter zooplankton. These colossal beings, are the largest the world has ever seen, this is due to reasons such as increased foraging range, freedom of predation, and increased water processing capacity. With all these factors in mind the Aqualithrax will grow up to 2 meters in length. These creatures will actively seek mates to increase their chances of successful mating, and will live up to three years. With all these new prey species a predator must soon follow. Moving swiftly through the open waters is the Aquarifluxidae, evolved from the Serpenticeptoros. It is almost unrecognizable compared to its ancestors. This streamlined predator boasts a distinct body in contrast to its eel-like ancestors, with a powerful tail and streamlined dorsal fin. The beak-like pincer structure of its ancestors, once used to crush shells, and rip off chunks of foliage have been internalized into a jawbone-like structure with teeth-like protrusions making it a formidable hunter, using speed to catch prey, and its teeth, to masticate it. This creature can grow up to 1.5 meters and will use simultaneous gamete dispersal to reproduce, living up to two years. In response to the new predators the Aquilophint, relatives of the Aquilithrax, chose a different evolutionary path, prioritizing speed and mobility over size. A clear demonstration of the predator-prey dynamic. Living in schools for safety, they feed primarily on chromocirclids, occasionally catching less efficient amounts of zooplankton. These sleek creatures can grow up to 1.6 feet, live as long as two years, and will search for a mate like its ancestors. Finally, let me introduce you to the Exophorans, descendants of the Aquarifluxidae. These apex predators have evolved a partial exoskeleton, providing unparalleled speed and maneuverability. With sharp jaws designed to pierce larger prey and a unique hunting style, the Exophorans have become the kings of the open ocean, pushing the boundaries of evolutionary innovation. They will use their sharp exoskeletons to pierce anything larger than itself. These creatures grow from 1.9 feet up to 1 meter and like their ancestors, they will employ mass gamete dispersal. These apex predators can live up to 3 years, and are at the top of the open ocean food chain. The creatures of Verdantara's open oceans have evolved over 100 million years, bringing the timeline to 220 million years into the planet's natural history. Each species adapting uniquely to its environment. In the next episode, we'll delve into the mysteries of Verdantara's reefs and the incredible organisms that thrive there. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and leave a comment with your thoughts and suggestions for future episodes. And remember, the wonders of Project Solara are just beginning.